A feature that commonly eludes new users in animation when working in Blender is the, the curve types for animation. Now this was uh, previously referred to as the IPO curves or the IPO curve editor in previous versions uh, 2.49 and back but in 2.5 this is switched to the graph editor and the curves allow you to adjust the the fall off or slope of an animation so real quick here just to demo this I'm going to make a very quick animation with our cube by at frame one just inserting a keyframe by hitting I and location then I'm going to move up 30 frames by hitting my up arrow and we're going to move it over say 10 and 10, hit I to insert location, and let's move up 30 more frames, and we'll move down 10 and 10, and insert a location. Now if we just play this back, you'll notice that we get a nice smooth, smooth transition between our locations here. And if we look at the curves here in the graph editor, you can see that this is um, visually demonstrated as well. Let me just move this up a little bit. You can see that on each of our locations here, our X, our Y, and our Z, we've got a nice smooth fall off. For example, our Z going up, it first starts out slow, speeds up, speeds up, slows down, speeds up, slows down. Same thing on our X, and then our Y is just static as we don't have any movement along the Y axis. Well, this is very, very cool because what this allows us to do, for example, let's just go ahead and just move up to frame 61 here. and Perhaps we want to do one of two things. First, maybe we want to adjust the Z location, but we want to do it interactively. If we just move it up Z like this, we can say, okay, maybe right about there, and then we'll insert a new keyframe, but it's not very, you know, it's not very accurate necessarily. Maybe we want to just do it very quick, very easily. Let's just grab this handle here on the Z, and let's just move it straight up. And so these curve points represent the location uh, along the specific axis, X, Y, or Z, of our object and by modifying these we can adjust where that object is at that point in time as you can see here or perhaps on the x-axis and so this is very very cool but the main reason that I'm showing you this is that when new users start to animate something that they commonly run into is averaging basically if I want to move my box from here to here I can do that very easily as I just demonstrated but it moves very smoothly. What if, let's say if I were doing a product demonstration and it was important for this to move straight to this point and then straight to this point, maybe, you know, if it was just bouncing off the wall or something, then I want, for one, the acceleration to be constant, but I also don't want this, this kind of fall off on the location. Well, this is actually very, very easy to fix. And all we need to do is, let's say if we want to move it on the Z axis, we'll just uncheck these other two to hide them. Let's just select the curve handle, hit H and vector vector and vector. So now this the, the vector point allows us to modify each side handle from the main point on its own. So we can smooth this out if we want. We can add, get a nice burst of speed there at the beginning. Whatever we need to do to get the movement that we need. So in this case you can see that we're getting a nice straight one-to-one -one action. Although we need to adjust the, the X as well. So we can do this just hit H and vector and H and vector. Now it just goes straight from point A to point B to point C without any averaging between the two. And so this can be very, very powerful to fine tune your animation. I know when I was starting out, I didn't understand what the IPO curves were. And they were these, these very, very scary curves that I didn't know how to use. And so I tended to avoid them. But unfortunately doing so caused me a lot of, a lot of grief while animating because I would constantly run into these issues where my, my model was averaging out and I couldn't understand how to control it. Or if I moved from here, I wanted it to wait and then go there, it would just keep going. And so the curves really allow you to get utmost control of your animation and also allow you to tweak it very, very easily in real time.